Today we're going to work on developing a simple dynamic model of a gravity drained tank that will eventually be implemented in Simulink. This video is focused only on developing and deriving the model. A later video will focus on implementing the model in Simulink. Here are the specs that we'll use for this tank. We have inlet and outlet flow rates in cubic meters per minute, a tank volume in cubic meters, and a tank height in meters. Our model parameters are the maximum tank height that the tank could support, the physical diameter of the tank, and then the reactor valve constant. So a gravity drained tank has an inlet. We're going to call that Q in. So this is our inlet volumetric flow rate in meters cubed per minute and it's going to have an outlet flow Q out, which is also going to be in cubic meters per minute. Because this is a gravity drained tank, our Q out is going to be a function of the height in the tank. So it's actually going to be equal to that tank valve constant times the square root of H, which means that the higher the volume in the tank gets, the higher the outlet flow rate gets so that eventually given whatever inlet flow rate your tank will eventually reach a steady state as the height gets to the right height that your inlet flow rate and your outlet flow rate are equal. To start developing this model we first need to define a control volume so in this case our control volume is the actual volume of the liquid in the tank and when you're writing a balance equation, it will take the form of the accumulation is equal to in minus out plus generation. We don't have any reaction or anything being generated or consumed, so we're just going to have our in and out terms. So our accumulation term is going to be the rate at which volume is accumulated in the tank. So that is represented by dv dt and this is going to have units of meters cubed per minute. In is fairly obvious that is just q in out we're going to create a variable called q out and each of these are also in cubic meters per minute. So it's important always to reconcile and make sure that your units match on the left hand side of your model equation and on the right hand side of your model equation. So now if we take this and specify that accumulation equals in minus out, we're going to get dv dt is equal to q in minus q out. But because q out is a function of tank height, we're going to need to specify that in our model. So we'll say Q out is equal to C times the square root of H. This is the first time we're seeing the model variable H in our equation, so it will actually need to be defined as well. And H is a function of the volume in the tank. So H is equal to our volume defi divided by the tank cross-sectional area. So just with these three model equations, we can program this and simulate it in Simulink. So see the next video to see how we take these model equations and implement this model in Simulink.